Good evening, Pod Race fans, and welcome to the Galactic Pod Racing Championship. First match of the losers bracket tonight. So this is the very first losers match. Whoever wins this advances into losers quarters. Whoever loses this gets eliminated. Uh, today's runners are Knock on the left, labeled Knock, and on the right, labeled Pistol Krepsy, is Ronnie. Our first track will be Ando Prime Centrum. I I actually asked for help on this, so this is probably probably should do it because you got the training we're off by about three seconds okay i will punch that in who's leading roni pipsel crepsy okay uh where did the i have to hit the button for that and then ronnie is leading by three you said yeah okay just put that in that should be coming in shortly Yep. And the Prime Center. Yeah. The, uh, so, oh, you speak? Yeah, this is one of our qualifying tracks and known for a lot of paths you can take on it, but we're only going to see one path early from these people since there's one optimal path. And they're coming up on their first laps, off by four tenths of a second. Looks like Ronnie's got a bit of a lead, but also some slightly higher heat, maybe? Yeah, there. Yeah, it looks like, like Ronnie has slightly higher heat. This is going to be a really big decider. This portion, you have to use the brakes. One of the only times in this game the brake is ever a necessary button to hit is that hairpin. Yeah. Yeah. Is it a hairpin was... or a switchback? I think it's a chicane. Hmm. But I, you could tell those bonks really hurt knock. A little bit of knocking around, would you say? Oh, bad joke. Well, you got to get at least a couple in. Yeah, of course. Oh, and Ronnie almost a full second ahead. It's looking like it's going to be Ronnie's match to lose on this track here. She seems very confident. She's like, the time up on her end is insane right now. Oh, that was a bad chicane by Knock. She slowed down massively. Ronnie wasn't looking too clean either. It could be closer than we were giving it credit for. I should get the Twitch chat pulled up on my phone here. That would be wise. Then I could respond to people. Okay, I've seen wild boost ones. Draco, stall for time. <laughs> and 237, uh, 238. Yep, Ronnie wins with a 237. Excellent work by Ronnie today. Oh, okay, Rabbi Goofy's just reminded. From knock. That's to be expected. Knock doesn't like those longer, twistier tracks. So Bobo's Legacy Band for Ronnie. Very smart. That's one of Knock's strongest tracks. I expect the other one we'll see is probably Doug Derby. Or Mongaza Speedway. Knock's got a lot of a lot of pocket tracks in the shorter sections of the game. And W Mountain Run Band from Knock. We will not be seeing a fast canyon today. Punta Training Course, that is a good choice for a permaban from Ronnie. Temp ban on Ben. Temp ban on Howler Gorge. Where are you taking us? Inferno Skips. All right, this is going to be... This is going to be a silly one. Yeah. Ladies and gentlemen, you're in for a treat. Inferno is one of many tracks in this game that has a full lap skip. Uh, but what makes Inferno so special is you can get the lap all the way down to like one or two seconds if you can stay out of bounds long enough. Well, not necessarily out of bounds, but out of the normal play area. Yeah. Yeah, and this can take less than 30 seconds. It's a kind of a blanket and you miss it if you if you do it right. So expect them to use Mars Guo as by far the most reliable at the skip. That is very true. Mars can do this skip like nobody's business. Uh, however, currently the fast lap world record is held by Slide Paramita, of all things. Uh, I don't think we're going to be seeing him today because that's fast lap and not three lap, but it's worthy of note. 
Okay, looks like Ronnie might have been caught off guard. Roni is struggling to pull off the skip and not taking it the safer way. You can grind the wall to run it multiple times, but but she's doing the safer route, which is to take the long route over and over again, which isn't really much of a long route. It's just the first lap approach both the succeeding laps. Roni clearly struggling at pulling off the skip. Ronnie can't even seem to get the first jump here. That's the there easy part. There she gets it. There it is. Well, well, kind of. Now she, can she get the second one? It's very odd to see that what... Uh, that Ronnie, what is that? I actually, I think I'd seen Nock discussing her strategy for the, uh, the tournament a few days ago, which was to learn short tracks and dumb skips. Uh, Inferno okay. skips is a very dumb skip. Oh, what were Ronnie's tourney bands? Uh, Goof wants to know what those were. They were... Sebulba's Legacy. Legacy and Bunta Training Course. Here we go. Ronnie pulls it off. Now the question is, can she get the second skip? Which is yeah, a little I'm bit trickier. Not so certain it's worth doing a sync here. Oh no! Uh, Nock's gonna have this one in the bag. Also, our runners are pretty close to synced anyway, so who gives Yeah, it? they're really <laughs> close to sync, and here we go. Knock on the final lap. Looks like Ronnie Brody's offering giving up the ghost a... and going the full track. Oh! Nock, what are you doing? Falling oh, in the lava there bad. invalidates it, doesn't it? No. Just gonna... Yeah, power up and around. I thought that that meant that you couldn't do the uh, the skip anymore if you fell in the lava. I thought it stopped working there. Yeah, it does, but I'm saying... Sh is Ronnie uh, Ron forfeiting? Ronnie, I believe, is forfeiting with that pause. And Nock... And Nock easily takes this. Quite easily. Um, questioning whether we let... Ronnie continue the full track or if we just let her know hey it's it's over okay I think we're seeing a forfeit coming from Ronnie yep that's a DNF <laughs> sometimes that's just the way things play out every once in a while that's the way the cookie crumbles those results are verified And we begin awaiting the next track pick. Yeah. Because this is had, this also had... This is not the first time that uh, someone has forfeited on this too. Roni banning Bullseye. Uh-oh. There are some decisions that could be made here. Peru Coast is temp banned. It's not necessarily a bullseye track, but it is easier with bullseye. A blind spot found. You're very right, Goof. That is an absolute blind spot. Oh, banging bullseye with Baru. Oh, that is brutal. Inferno run back. Baru coast ban. This time getting revenge with full track. Ah, Ronnie wants oh. to see if Nock can play a game of skill instead of one of memes. Well, it looks like Nock is only good at the skip because she just said in chat, well, that ain't good. A blind spot for both players on the same track. Would you believe it, folks? Goof mentions that Ronnie does have a 226 here, which is quite impressive. Okay, she's using Elon Mack here. Not confident in Ben, I suppose. Yeah, Ben is supremely difficult to use on his favorite track. That said, using Elon here does put Nock at a pretty hardy pod disadvantage. Elon's like, what, fourth fastest in the game? The top three, Ben is the fastest, followed by Bulls, Beto third, and then fourth through six is kind of a, we don't know which is fastest in between Elon, Mahonic, and Mars. Yeah, they sort of jockey based on whatever track you're on that day. Oh, so. boy. That extra width on Elon is not going to be helpful either, I don't think. Nock is not looking confident on this one, but if we heard the uh, messages between the two of them quite right, that's to be expected. I feel like these two players are, you know, good performers. I think we're going to have a good match here. 
Oh, here it we won't go. be a short oh. match, but it will be a good match. Yeah, we kind of like the matches to kind of go looks along. Looks like they're starting here. Yep. Roni is off. And about a two-second delay. Yep, about two seconds. Ronnie leading? Ronnie is leading. Sync coming in shortly. Oh, man. Ben is just... This, this portion is where Ben really pulls ahead. Yeah. It's those straightaways that give Ben the edge here. Ben's boost thrust is just astronomically high compared to Elon. It's 400 versus oh. 360, and that is an easy spot to die on this track. I mean, where on Inferno isn't an easy spot to die, though, to be completely fair. Yeah, you can die at practically every point on it, and then you can also run the risk of falling into the lava and having your engines catch fire. Oh, that lava is one heck of an obstacle. Whoa. Looks like she tried to veer wide around the lava and crashed. Sometimes it might be better to just eat the increased heat from going over the lava. It's it's a straighter line. It's safer. It's, I mean, it might just have been better to not try to go around it. Ronnie is looking very strong here, Goof. You are absolutely correct. Oh, knock! Whoa! I'm looking amazed like it's, Ronnie survived all that. It's it's looking like a little bit of a shutdown here. Ronnie's got this on full lockdown, and knock is just a crash a minute at this point. Shut out. It would take an absolute catastrophe for Ronnie to lose this. Oh. Make that two absolute catastrophes. I mean, Ronnie's like a half a lap ahead at this point. You saw that, right? Knock just finished a lap and Ronnie's about to wrap up the third lap. Yeah. This was like around three quarters. This was more or less over before it began. And comes really close to her PB at a 228. That is another win for Ronnie. We're going to wait for Knock to cross the line here before zeroing the stream out again. Oh! Uh oh Really fell apart for Knock. Oh my god. I'm not sure it fell apart. I mean, it was never really together in the first no, place, really was it? No, it wasn't. And yep. here we go. That is an unfortunate turn of events. I kind of expected. It looks like Knock got sucker punched completely there. It's interesting to me that the same track was the blind spot for both players. That that doesn't usually happen. And uh, Nock just sent check. Well, that was a good pick. Ronnie has also typed in the Twitch chat that she knows what she's good at. A little bit of showboating going on there. Already. Hey, Ronnie. Ben Ban. Sunken City Ban from Ronnie. That is a good choice. Nock's got a pretty good sunk. Oh! Best it's going to be a back and forth, boys and girls. It's going to be a back and forth. We're probably going to see Wan Sandage from both of them. Oh, wait. Ronnie's excited about this. Uh-oh. You're not supposed to like my picks. Yeah, that's, uh, that's a little bit worrisome there. Knock when you see your opponent is happy to see something you've chosen. Uh, this might be another one that we don't bother sinking. It's Abyss Skips, everybody. And it's going to be done in about 30, 30 seconds, uh, maybe maybe even 20 it's a it's a quick and yet another yeah. blink and you miss it kind of skip. Also, pretty much the easiest skip in the game, and it goes back in its current formation to 2009. 30 seconds to win. <laughs> yeah. When on this track is pretty dominant. One of the two that jockeys for world record, I think, right? Yeah. And Roni just said in chat, I did this against Paige in the show match. Oh, that's true. 
Ronnie did pull this against Paige in the show match. That's right. Uh, for those who aren't aware, we did a, a show match on, I think it was Lady Arcaders, uh, between uh, Paige and uh, Paige and Ronnie, right? Yeah, Paige and Ronnie. Yeah. Um, there was a lot of uh, a lot of interesting tech, a lot of fun skips, um, and a lot of hype drummed up for tournament that day. It'll be interesting to see how both of these players navigate abyss skips here. This As you can really... see, it's a very, very short uh, skip. You drive up that right-hand wall, turn slight left, then hard right, and come back in bounds to complete a lap. You have to be careful, though, because in some cases it might not count, or you might blow up if you hit it at the wrong angle going up. This is very true. That's why you have to swing out slightly to the left before you turn back right. What's better than this? Two top-level athletes driving at a wall. I'm not going to even bother sinking it because it's a blanket and you'll miss it kind of thing. And it's yeah, a agreed. decent sink. It's only off by one second anyway. It's, I mean, <laughs> it'll be over by the time the sink is in. There's like, what, 20 seconds of delay? <laughs> yeah. Okay. Knock slightly. Oh, no! Oh, no! Well, there it goes. That's a... Oh, oh gosh! Knock That's... struggling, too. But Knock fit in... But Knock tried... Here we go. Big Knock has this because she didn't fall off onto the penalty lap portion. Knock... Knock is doing... an extra run of the skip that was unnecessary. I think she lost track of the lap count there. Uh, that's a 39.715 from Knock, and I think we're going to see another DNF from Ronnie. Yep, it looks like Ronnie is forfeiting. I mean, that's fair. That's one of those skips that if you mess it up, it's uh, it's over. It's dead in the water. Yeah, it was dead when she fell onto the penalty lap portion. Oh, okay, hold on. We've got some clarification. A, a note attached to Knock's time when she submitted. I did the skip in extra time to assert dominance. That's fair. You know, sometimes you just gotta show them who's in charge. Okay, here we go. Ben Ben, ben Band from Ronnie. Mangaza Speedway Band. Well, <laughs> that's uh, that's fair, but I don't think Ronnie's low on music on her pray on her playlist yet, so we don't have to worry about her picking Mangaza Speedway. Fire Mountain Rally. Uh oh. Longest track in the game by time. One of the qualifying tracks. Lava in it like Inferno. And has one of the most hazardous sections in the game. Uh, Cheese Land is pretty dangerous, if I'm right, right? Uh, but the whole track's out to kill you. Well, yeah. I mean, fair. Between Cheese Land, Forest, and the eponymous Fire Mountain, no shortage of places to die. Lots this of is a Ronnie this. pick as well, so... I think we're going to see a win from Ronnie on this one. She's very good at winning on her own picks. I also remember, too, that Ronnie scored significantly faster than Knock on this track in qualifying. Right. Either way, yeah. it's a it's a beautiful display of just the difference between, like, these two players. Ronnie's strength is in longer full tracks, and Knock's strength is in shorter skips. And we basically went from the shortest skip to the longest track. A nice dichotomy. The duality of man. There are two engines to every pod. <laughs> yeah, the section Roni is in is really dangerous. One of the few parts of the game where you have to use the brakes. Oh yeah, we've seen them both now, haven't we? Ando Prime Centrum Hairpin, and, uh, and now we're seeing Fire Mountain uh, Forest. We won't be seeing the other two portions you have to use the brakes on because they were permabanned. How do I explain, Ben? Uh, uh, it's an interesting question you pose as it reveals the innermost secrets of not only myself, but of the entire pod racing community. And as such, I will be neglecting to answer it. Thank you. Okay, count that has been given. We'll be starting shortly, probably. I like Gail's answer. If you look closely, only two of Ben's engines are actually real. <laughs> that's a that's a good answer, and I'll, I'll go with that. My explanation for Ben is Shadow Clone Jutsu. No, I have never seen Naruto. 
Looks like we are starting and... Rony already taking a crash? How much of a sink do I need to put in? About four seconds. Four seconds, you got it for Ronnie, right? Ronnie's leading? Yeah, four seconds on Ronnie's, yeah. Four seconds. Not in the head because of that crash Ronnie took. Oh, oh no. my god! We're seeing the Ronnie tilt come in, but we do know that this is not somewhere that Knock is strong. It could be very easy for Ronnie to keep a victory on this. All she has yeah. to do is clean up and detilt, and she's got plenty of time to do it. As we've said, this is the longest track by time. There yeah, we go. That's one of the deaths Nock. that Nock needs to take for Ronnie to catch back up. And Ronnie is catching up rapidly, even Ooh. with those deaths. Cheated death there. Almost fell into the lava. Ronnie is looking shakier than expected. Probably trying to detilt. Get a hold of yourself, old girl. You got this. Ah! That's a rough one. But a lot of these crashes could mean nothing on this long track. Oh boy, knock dies in cheese land as well. Mark your bingo cards as well. This is cheese land. I believe that name comes to us direct from the developers themselves. Yeah, I think that was John Knowles, who was one of the main heads of creating the game, said he called the place Cheeseland while they were developing it. Oh, and now Ronnie takes back the lead. Oh, that, well, oh. That, there it goes. It's gone again. Probably. <laughs> nope. Oh, she's still got it. This track is just... By about 0. .4. Oh, gosh. Ronnie really likes a close race, a close race and a close match. This is, uh, <laughs> this is emblematic of her tournament career, it would seem. Ooh. Oh! Oh, I, I missed it. I was looking at Twitch chat. Ronnie dies on the downhill. Knock pulling ahead. This is, I mean, it's mesmerizing to watch. It's hard to say anything about this because you're just waiting with bated breath for the next catastrophe. We're checking on this track, and we've seen a bunch. A very volatile track. Absolutely. Volatile doesn't even begin to describe it. And here we go. We're approaching one of the harder shortcuts in the game, and the Quake shortcut, which you do have to break to. Uh, oh! You have to break, but you do have to slow down. Knock takes it like a champion. Ronnie has died somewhere again. Ronnie breaks hard into that shortcut, losing a lot of speed. But it's still only lap two, folks. We've got plenty of time for things to change or get worse. Final lap or knock. 149 is a really respectable lap time, to be honest. 157, that's not has a reasonable lead. But that could, I just don't, that lead we can't can really dis call it. That lead can dissolve rapidly. Oh! But like that, you know, you can, you can get. Yeah. All, all, oh, almost, she cheated death over that bad respawn. Almost got the double death. That was terrifying to watch. I think that's the first time I've seen someone survive that double death. It's. Probably because of nose up, so it did still lose quite a bit of time and speed, but it <laughs> it's preferable than the alternative. Ronnie is closing the gap really aggressively. One more crash from Knock and Ronnie will take the lead here.
It's so close. Oh, man. Here we go, the final cheese land. All it's going to take is one mistake from either party to seal the deal at this point. Knock takes it really good. Bad. Ooh, Ronnie bonks terribly. Shortcut. That might have done it. That probably there's, have done it. There's still a chance that Knock screws something up in the back leg of this track, but I, I don't see it. I don't see it myself. Oh, I almost saw it. Roni breaks serve with Knox crash to the finish. That is looking bad for Ronnie. And there's no salty runbacks remaining, so we're not going to be seeing any more of this track for the rest of the day. Ronnie said two deaths before lap one for us. Never recovered. Lost count of deaths after six. Clegg hold fast ban from Roni. Clegg, that's a throwaway ban. Bunta classic Bunta ban from Knox. That's not a throwaway ban. That's a pretty decent decision. I think that this match could still go in Ronnie's favor, but it's going to take a little more effort now. She's going to have to put in the legwork. Death Row's Revenge. Ronnie is on the best times board here with a 218.085 with one death. This could be the legwork she needs to put in to take this back. Question is, can Ronnie go deathless here? Okay, so I have been seeing that right. I get to I get to talk about something interesting. Uh, you'll notice that on Knox's screen, some of the fences will look a little strange. You know, just a little bit choppy. And on Ronnie's screen, everything looks nice and clean and crisp. Uh, this is because we have a tournament and speedrun approved texture pack that restores textures to the way they're supposed to be and appear on the N64 version of the game. For some this is thanks to the... Oh, I was going to finish, but if you want to say something? For some odd reason, they only had the correct textures in the 64 version. I think something must have gotten corrupted somewhere in the... Uh, in the branching process when they were working on the other ports of the game. Uh, we have these wonderful repairs thanks to the efforts of Lightning Pirate and Hellfire. Uh, I believe Hellfire is in the chat, so uh, everybody swarm them. Swarm Hellfire. They deserve it. Ronnie is off. Uh, it looks like Knock is, is off. off. About a three second difference. Which end? Who's in front? Three seconds ahead for Roni. Okay. Knock yep, in the can... lead slightly. There's that uh, texture difference I was talking about. The uh... <laughs> that great over top isn't supposed to be a fine mesh. Survive that. Knock taking that jump very low. Part of me wonders where we're going to be going next. But at the same time, I should be focused on where we are right now, which is Death Row's Revenge. Uh, don't let Dom fool you. It is Death Row's Revenge, not Death Row's. Yeah, named after the host for this planet, Death Row Glock. Apparently he's taking revenge on something. Very low by knock again. Wow. It's not doing her any favors on time, though. This is definitely looking like it's Ronnie's race to lose. Seems like she got all her crashes out in practice. Then we're waiting on the final portion, which is the out of bounds finish. Here we go. Get ready for style points, everybody. Oh, 
one that just shattered her rec previous record by 10 seconds. 208769. Quite impressive. And 211 is not bad either. Yeah, it should Tied be noted up, that three, both three. of these were impressive times. Tied up 3-3. Three, three. Now, can Ronnie break serve? I, I swear, nice. every match with Ronnie has felt like a, a game of Wii Sports Tennis. Advantage, left team. Advantage, right team. Mars Guo banned from Knock. Gauntlet banned from Roni. You Very smart strat band. not picking tracks you suck at. Crazy idea. <laughs> Revolutionary. <laughs> Beatles, Wild Ride we're going to. Beatles. Beatles is fun. It's, in my opinion, one of the harder amateur circuit tracks. I wouldn't say it's the hardest. I mean, Vengeance exists, but it is up there. It really comes down to, like, the ice planes and some of the, uh, some of the early game turns, especially that, uh, that cave, that ice cave at the start, is very, uh, very unforgiving if you try to take it too aggressively. Another personal opinion and perhaps a hot take, I don't like Beatles. <laughs> Fun to watch. Was... Great track for people to play. I don't like it. <laughs> track has the biggest amount of ice of any of the Endo Prime tracks, so that's what makes it so painful a lot of times. It's it's just mean. I mean, it it tries to kill you, and I guess that's fair because it's Beto's wild ride, and he is the hitman. Knock coming up to the ice fields. Ronnie's struggling on the first cave in. Woo. Little wide there, Knock, but still surviving. Better to take a safe line than a dead line. Okay, I think this might be a weak link for Roni by the fact that she is struggling to nail the first cave. Yeah, it's um, it's not looking good for her. She hasn't had a chance to practice the whole a decent part of the track before the countdown has started. She can't get past this rock, man. Oh, Nock is also employing an interesting strategy, taking Beto for a slightly better starting line position. Ronnie driving with extreme caution. I don't think this is going to be Ronnie's chance to break serve here. I think she's going to have to try somewhere else. Oh! <laughs> yeah, this is not looking good for Ronnie. Every now and again, there's a crash in this game that you can just kind of feel in your bones. And that was it. Sometimes if you if you play this game and watch the game long enough, you'll see when a crash is about to happen in many cases. And we are off. We're off by about two seconds. Two seconds sync coming in. Oh! Not Ronnie. crashing on the first cave. Roni narrowly... Roni... Managing to bail on it and pulling her ahead by being safe. Wait, here's the wild thing. If that's the only crash that we see... Oh, oh no. no. Okay, maybe I was wrong. Maybe Ronnie breaks serve here. This could very well be advantage right side. Still, it all depends on these next shortcuts. Ooh. We'll see what happens. Roni opting not for the tent. Very wise and risk averse strategy. Roni not even opting to boost there. I mean, that's fair when it's burned her so much in practice. Uh-oh! Oh, oh I was thought Roni with a crash there. I was expecting an explosion. Uh-oh, that looks like I an will explosion not be satisfied. Coming. Uh what the Finally uh -oh. dies to the texture kill spot. Track's been trying to kill her for the last 18 minutes. Yeesh. <laughs> now knock is in the lead from that crash because Roni took it really safe. Still can't really call it. That slot is really dangerous. 
and we still aren't going to be sure about the final lap. Oh, gosh. 101.51, but Ronnie did pull ahead from that boost. Oh! Knock dying and falling onto the slower path. Ronnie is going to break serve. I am going to hold my breath because... Let's see what happens. <laughs> Whoa. Uh, <laughs> okay, Ronnie, calm down. I'm amazed she survived that. We want you to break serve, not break your arm. Oh, knock! Knock hits the texture kill spot on the final lap. It's it's so strange. You know, I put out educational material on how these things work. I use specifically the Beto's texture kill like eight times to show it off. And this is what happens. People still die here. <laughs> Match point for Roni. Advantage right screen. I'm just amazed. We got a real game going here. We're heading into potentially the last race of the match, everybody, or the second to last race of the match if things continue as they have so far. It's a good thing we don't play this game like actual tennis. And we don't have that uh, potential for infinite match length. Tent ban, bold roar. Odds of race nine getting high, Pog. Are we going to see gauntlet skips? We're going to see something. We are seeing gauntlet. We are seeing skips. I just... Found, oh my god, I picked that spot on! This is one of Nuck's favorite things to do, and it's been full of ridiculous things happening in tournament. We have, from the 2021 pod tournament, this track being really cursed in this way. Using Mars Guo for Nuck, no surprise there. Mars is very good at this skip. Probably the most reliable at it. Both going with Mars. And one of the things that also can be problematic with this track is that you can soft lock in the rocks. Really problematic with Mars Glow because his traction so big. Are we going to see it? No. That setup, though, can get a soft lock, though, easily. That's why I thought we were going to see it for a second. That rock is... Whoa, here she comes. She's a man-eater. If Ronnie wins this one, this will be an absolute redemption arc. I have no idea what to expect because this skip is so volatile, I can't really call it until the final lap. Everybody practices the jump, but nobody practices the tube. Tube is pretty scary with Mars because he's so wide. Oh, we saw the soft lock. She had the alt tab out. Alt tabbing is the way that you get out of that. For some reason, the extra lag just makes you buffer through the rock. I don't know what it is, but it, it does seem to work. I think it lowers your frame rate so you bust out of the rock? Yeah, I think that's it. It's got yeah, a, about what, a three and a half second? second yeah, about, yeah, three and a half second from Ronnie. We go. Run that as a 3.5 sync, and if it's still out of sync, we'll run another one. Oh no, that was pretty good, actually. <laughs> That's pretty good. Here we go. This is where the shenanigans happen. Whoa, is she going to get the respawn? Nope. Nope. But that's okay, because, you know, not could, uh, not could do something wrong. I mean, we still have two more laps of this. Yeah, we got plenty of time for Nock to uh, re-illustrate just how often people forget the tube. Oh, Fresh. or oh, Ronnie no. could die to the door. Everybody up for game nine? <laughs> One oh seven, but I'm not gonna call it until I see the next two laps. Oh yeah, we are this. we are still in severe danger of soft lock. I think what really kills me most about that soft lock though was um that is a specter that haunts this track. I think Lightning Pirate called it. Uh it 
one year in tournament that just kept happening that was 2021 and it happened so much we had a skips compilation video interesting way to take that ronnie you're still in this but i don't know why you did that that way Ooh. Even breaking in the tube doesn't save you. Oh. Still anything can happen on this final skip. It is still anyone's game with this one. If Ronnie wins the match overall, I expect she's going to have a chip on her shoulder about this one for the rest of her run. We are on to race nine. Yep, this is this is going to be a race nine, everybody. What in the world? First losers round, co first losers round, we go to race nine. I cannot imagine the stakes, both player, the stress both of these players feeling because next match is going to determine the fate of whether they get eliminated or not from tournament, which is a lot different from being knocked into the lower bracket the previous time. Wake up, babe. New bingo square just dropped. <laughs> Ronnie goes to game nine. <laughs> Ronnie's pick, though. It is Ronnie's pick. This could go very well or very badly. Race 9 ban phase. Temp ban Aldar Beto. Bunta Classic temp ban. Three force points and zero runbacks remaining. Three guesses, Ronnie says. Uh, uh oh. We're going to Bumpy's Breakers, everybody. Ronnie and Nock are both on the best times board here. Ronnie with a 445, 296. Nock with a 517, 672. So both our players have been on this track before. I think that's what the best times board means. This is certainly going to be a match to remember, everybody. Bumpies is a very technical track. Uh, a lot of players will underheat on those initial uh hairpins which i personally refer to as the breakers because i think that that's what that area would be that would be where the waves break probably ronnie ahead in practice oh but falling behind however she brought an ai to, to control the door pattern and knock did not oh that is going to give ronnie the edge Countdown has started on the final race of the first losers bracket match of 2023. Ladies and gentlemen, forget everything else in the history textbooks. This is where you want to be. Here we go. Final match. The fate between elimination and staying in the tournament. Reality itself hangs in the balance. It's about a three second we have. About a three second difference. Oh, oh they're, close. they're they're neck and neck on lap one here. There are two pivotal areas on this track. Those opening hairpins and shorter cut. Everything else, I mean, you may as well ignore it. Yeah. Oh, and Nock brought an AI at the last second. Nock seems to have remembered that Bumpy is actually important here. Oh! Oh, no! Ronnie, no! Oh, how amazed Nox survived that. I'm not sure if you should be breaking out taps or the Freebird solo. Nox 
Knock in the lead with a 133. Roney three seconds behind because of that death. Still can't Still call anyone's it anyone's game. Now here's the thing. Both these players do want a rematch against me. Knock has been waiting for a rematch since I put her in lower in loser's bracket a couple tourneys ago, I think. And Ronnie is out for my blood because of the first match of this year's tournament. So they are both driven by a blind hatred of me right now. I'm definitely overselling that, but it would be funny to imagine. This will determine who gets to reclaim their honor in a fight against me. This is a nuts match. Oh, oh, no. Oh, no. Come on. Oh, still a death behind, Ronnie. Would have been, would have been bigger if it weren't for the... It was only that small because Nock took a worse respawn than Ronnie. Oh, gosh. This is this is like going to a movie for the first time and not knowing if the main character is going to die. <laughs> Ronnie's oh. feet is a little scary. Final lap and it's anyone Finds a game. I'm just seeing the scene in Hercules, man. You know where he where he dives into the river Styx and rescues Meg. The thread won't cut. Oh. oh, oh, oh. This is so close. It's probably going to come down to the shortcut. What happens on the final lap shortcut? Ronnie Not takes the lead. Gets the bad respawn. Ronnie nails it. Ronnie takes the lead. Oh, and it grows. Ah, uh, that probably did it. I know they'd have to get to loser semis or further to face against me, but like uh, I know that Nock has talked about wanting a rematch against me this year, and <laughs> I can imagine Rony that. that no, sorry, I Nock wanted scared. a rematch against me, and I can imagine that Ronnie is definitely not too chuffed. <laughs> we we see it happen live here for the first time, folks. Your first tourney elimination is knock. Oh, I did not expect that to go all the way to nine. That is exciting. Um, <laughs> that was something else. That oh, was something. Pod racing. Now yes. this is pod racing indeed. Oh, what wow. was that? So, okay. Um, before this started... I said something like, I hope we both have terrible luck, so it's a competition of who fails the slightly less horribly. I'm so sorry I said that. It really did happen. <laughs> Don't be sorry, you just gave us the best loser's bracket opener we could have hoped for. That was tooth and nail, neck and neck every second of the way. I Okay, we need to go track by track because... There's so much to break down from that match. Hey, this is... Oh, man. Okay, Ando Prime was the least, like, weird, right? I had yeah, that was a bad hair, I think. Yeah, and, but otherwise it was normal. Ando Prime Centrum made sense. That was, that was the last time that those words would be uttered about this match. <laughs> and then immediately, immediately you pick a, the skip I just have never done, ever. Right. 
And it, I was like, I, I was so surprised that I got Inferno because I have a really, that's like the only time I have submitted on SRC and it's like an okay time. So I just expect it to get banned from me. Uh, but then your next pick explained that. The Inferno run Yeah, back. okay. So <laughs> to talk about Inferno Skip, I pulled up the world record video for Inferno Skips and tried to learn it. Oh no! In On two the minutes, fly. and I got the first part of it down. Uh huh. But I didn't get the second part, so I, yeah. I forfeit. Well, and we were right. It was learning really on the fly. Weird. We were debating that. We couldn't tell yeah, you if Ronnie had no experience. Yeah, you can see it when I restarted my game. Oh my god! <laughs> <That's so laughs> I funny. forgot you can do that. <laughs> I mean, congrats on getting the first part. Oh yeah. It's... Wow. Inferno okay, and then yeah, the Inferno run back because I've been prepping yeah. Inferno. It's it's no secret. I it's one of my biggest tracks I've been practicing for the past while. Um, so when you did that, I was like, oh, you want to see Inferno? You want to see Inferno? <laughs> <laughs> we can do Inferno. The run back to see if Nock could handle a game of skill instead of one of comedy, <laughs> which I could not. Oh. I just look how. You got your weakest link on Inferno Skips, Roni, and you got your weakest link on Inferno <laughs> Full Track Knock. No, uh -huh. it's rare That's that the same track skip. is the same weak link. It's both sides of the coin in this match. Well, Inferno Full Track is hard. It's scary. I want to do the easy skip and just not do it. I mean, that's very fair. What was oh the yeah, next I was going to pick again. I did Abyss Skips, and you got the bad respawn. Oh, uh, oh, that was I nailed miserable it. to watch. I, I messed up. I got the bad respawn once. Uh -huh. in the warm-up but every other time i nailed it i got my laps to count everything like right it was perfect i even pb'd by like like a three tenths or something okay and then i just blew it in the <laughs> not much to say there i don't know the recovery yeah i don't i tried it. just wasn't and it and then with you knock you tried to do the skip a third time not knowing that you were on the final lap <laughs> i did i did not realize i i just forgot they're like oh yeah you just go straight through it i Break That's amazing. Again. No, no, no. You, you asserted dominance. Uh, yes, that is correct. I asserted dominance. <laughs> so after we got through my two DNFs, <laughs> I then decided to pick a uh, Fire Mountain Rally. Right. Um, which was which not I have a good idea. Your way. By that all rights. <laughs> I mean, I practiced it a little bit today. I, I played it for about 20 minutes today. And okay. I was doing pretty good on it. You know, I was doing, you know, two death, three laps, you know, that kind of thing. And I was doing okay in the warm up. And then as soon as we get the countdown start, I crashed twice before lap one forest, including a death in the first five seconds on the very first turn. It was and heartbreaking. I, I'm just completely dead on the face, just staring at my monitor for the next <laughs> five minutes as I try to complete this track. And so, I only lost by four seconds somehow. Yeah, I well, I thought I was done for because I died twice on lap one. I died uh, in the first like lava turn. I just like took it too tight and randomly crashed. And then I died on some like weird geometry in cheese land before taking the mini shortcut. So I was like, oh, well, uh, you know, whatever. I didn't even get to warm up on this because I was dying so much in warm up. It's fine. I'll just lose this course, whatever. Well, and I crashed like had two more times. Mindset. And, then you I... cheated, and then you cheated double death knock at the ramp. I don't know how you did that. Yeah, okay. That was the weirdest thing that's ever happened to me in, on that track. I died on like lap three on the ramp jump. Yeah, the like, jump just... over waterfall. Yeah, I don't know why. I didn't think there was a texture kill spot there. I guess I need to till there, but... Yeah, I, I actually couldn't believe I didn't die twice there. Because it respawned me, like, basically right over it, but I it guess... It respawned you in the worst enough. place, but you somehow had enough acceleration and nose up to make it. What do we do after wow. that? Where did we so go? After oh. FMR, I picked Death Rose because I yeah. was my hands were starting to shake, and I really needed, like, to calm down and take some deep breaths, you reorient myself... Pick. Pick the, you know, right. yeah, pick one of my most comfortable tracks. Like, just <laughs> just bang out a nice, decent time on a, a track I play a lot. And I did that, so that's good. Oh, I was I was beefing it really badly in the, in the warm-ups, though. I don't know if you saw that, but I was crashing on everything. I did in the look. Warm -ups. 
because I was crashing in warm-ups too, and I was like, well, maybe if Ronnie crashes, it'll be fine. <laughs> <laughs> so I did look over. But and then, then, you... I, then I popped in the actual game. So yeah, kind of the opposite of the FMR. You pulled like solid riding in that track. You both pulled really solid runs on death rows. Yeah. yeah. 208 was insane. Yeah, that, that beat my PB by like half a second, Ronnie, your time there. So, mm -hmm. very yeah. solid. Pick. And then after that was, uh, did you go to Gauntlet Skips after that yeah, one? Yeah, that was, was Gauntlet after, after that. Because you banned the one rocket and you broke serve knock. Yeah. Okay. So yeah. Gauntlet skips. Um, you did beat as well right before this. Gauntlet skips. Oh, you're right. Oh, yeah, yeah, that's yeah, right. We did do beatos. Wait, yeah. I don't want to talk. Oh, yeah, beatos. Yeah, yeah. Oh bad. man. I, that that sucks. I died everywhere I could possibly die. Yeah. Yeah. Um, but you did not see Ronnie's warm ups. <laughs> oh yeah, I died on the same spot every single time. Ronnie didn't even get a chance to practice the whole track. She was just no, dying I, I repeatedly on the, on the same pillar. rock. You know the pillar that uh -huh. you crashed on every time? Oh yeah, I yeah, died yeah, on yeah. That. I know the pillar. In every single practice run, I died on that one. Or I bonked off the other side when trying to avoid it. So I cut my boost there on the actual... And I just didn't oh. boost, And I still got knocked off on lap one! <laughs> you are smarter thing. than me. I was like, nah, I'll just boost it, it's fine. And then, oh man, the ice fields, I was getting the worst things, but somehow not crashing. Like, I would just... And then I got the floor kill. I don't even know what uh -huh. happened there. The game was trying to kill you for the past, like, ten seconds when that happened. That was some it final tried, destination. and you just wouldn't like, die, and finally it got you. Yeah. It was like, no, I should have died on the pillar at the beginning of the lap, so the final destination rules caught up to me. And then, you know, I should have died when I, like... I'm over, flying over the ice field when I, like, hit the thing on the left side and, like, somehow went under it, lost all my speed for a second, but survived. So the floor kill got me. Like, it was, man. I kept dying in places where I couldn't reboost. So I just, like, That's burned you lost time. all that time. Yeah, and then... And then it's we funny went that you said Vito's was chill, because I was, like, in my head thinking... It was! In practice, man. it was! <laughs> it was supposed to be chill! I was like, oh, oh wow. I might take one death, but I know Ronnie's time here isn't like super great. Like I, I saw you had had a you had it's an a, old it's PB a solid there. Time. It's a yeah, solid. Like, oh wait, where did where did you look for my PB actually? Uh, I I looked on Goof's sheet and then I watched your okay. PB on SRC and I was like, it's like this is a solid time. But, yeah, I got like, the it was a two forty one. I think so. Maybe yeah, one? yeah, yeah. It's from a few months ago. I hadn't practiced it very much. Uh, yeah. Um, then we went to Gauntlet time, Skips, but... right? Like, that was yeah. next? Oh, no. Yeah. Uh, Gauntlet okay. Skips was a nightmare there? from everybody. Okay, Nock, you are going to have to watch what happened to me back, because okay. there's no way to describe what happened. I oh, So I've been practicing Gauntlet Skips, because I knew it was a thing you liked to pick. I wasn't going right. to pick it, but I wasn't going to ban it either, so I was like, I'll just familiarize myself with it. Yeah, that makes sense. Um, And I did pretty good a couple nights ago, or was it last night? I don't remember. I think it was last night, actually. I got like a 238, um, which is pretty pretty good. Um, so I was like, yeah, okay. And I, I, I spent a lot of time on the tube, especially because against DU, I crashed in the tube three times. So I was like, I'm not going to do that. I'm going to practice this. Tube's going to um, leave you with a chip on your shoulder, Ronnie. Yeah. Yeah, exactly. It's like, yeah, I need to I need to work on this. So I did. And then I came out the other side and we're doing um, gauntlet skips in my practices and I figured out that I could pretty easily hold the boost uh, onto the skip itself, and that was a big way to save time and not underheat. Mm -hmm. And that way, if I could also hold a little bit of boost in the tube, I could probably have a huge advantage over anybody who picked it against me, who mm -hmm. was going to play much more safe. And then in 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 the actual uh, game, I immediately crashed on the first attempt at the skip, uh -huh. which is incredible because I had almost never done that. Like in my practices, I, I would usually hit it 100% of the time. So I had to take it super slowly to get over it, and I was kind of mad about that. And the two I saw began. the door, and the door was in a very happy position for Mars Guo. Uh -huh. <laughs> so I thought, okay, let's take this boost into the tube, let's make up a little bit of time. Uh -huh. I get a bit closer, it immediately snaps to the upright position, and I die. Of course. Oh, it, it does the gauntlet door thing. Yeah, it literally just teleported in front of me, and I've never seen it do that in practice, and the only thing I can think of that would be the reason why it did that is if I triggered it the first time while I was attempting the skip and crashing on it, which uh -huh. is why I wouldn't have seen it in practice, because I would have reset. Right. 
<laughs> I, I have no idea how that door works. It just sometimes it moves very slowly, sometimes it doesn't move at all, and sometimes it teleports. I, it's a mystery. And then the Gauntlet second and third laps, when I was done. going on to the gauntlet skip uh, on the wall ride, I started to slip off to the left. I don't know how that's possible. I've what? never seen that. Wait, to the I, left? That's weird. The left? What? I, I don't know how that happened. <laughs> What was There's that? A wall there. How do you? There's what? never. It's never happened to me before. Okay, I gotta watch that back. Ronnie, I was confused by how you were approaching that. You drove like straight at the wrong wall, ended up riding up it like it was executioner skip, and getting drifted and getting pulled left. Yeah, that's exactly what happened. I, I just, what? On the first lap, you saw me trying to hold the boost where I would ride off of the. It's sort. It's kind of like the thing Goof showed me with Ben Quadneros, but doing it with Mars and doing it a little bit lower. And so I was like, okay, I'll do that. And then uh, I, it allowed me to hold the boost up the wall, but I just didn't get it. I didn't even go for it. I didn't even attempt it in laps two and three because I was a little bit tilted. I was just like, that's not a good combo. Don't do crazy stuff when you're tilted. Um, oh, man. After and I, still died in the, I still died in the tubes on, like, everything anyway, so... <laughs> What did we do? What did we do after Gauntlet? What was and next? And then the final finale was Bumpy's Breakers, where oh, it all yeah. came down to the rotten respawn for Knock on the third yeah. final lap. I'm, I'm yep. a little mad about the Bumpies, because okay, I that really so wanted close. to pick Bumpies. I've been in reach of a 432 there for so long. I played it for like two weeks straight before my match with Paige, so I was feeling super confident if you picked it, and I just. I don't know what I did on lap three. I I beefed that so bad. Mm -hmm. It was so devastating to watch that happen. But at the same time, it was very exciting to see that happen because Ronnie, you had been like one crash down the whole time. Wow. And then Nock got her first crash and you crashed at the same time. So you were still one crash down. It's kind of funny because there's a thing I like to say about this track in Sunken City, which is that something changes on lap three on the shortcut. Mm -hmm. Oh, yeah. And something changed this time because I crashed on it laps one and two and then was fine on lap three. Ah, I, yeah. What, huh? Awesome. How? <laughs> I don't so get it. I, I, thought, I thought for sure I was going to get the hat trick there. But, oh, but that was an exciting, exhilarating match. Yeah, yeah that, that was That may something. have been the most fun match I've played. That, that was a lot of fun. <gasps> it's Ronnie. not even a real Ronnie tournament match unless it goes to all nine races. <laughs> I was going to say, Ronnie, can you just do us all a favor and keep going to the maximum number of races for your whole career? This is good stuff. I think This is good television. If you include the show match uh, with Paige, I think that means that my last six tournament matches have all gone to nine races. <laughs> keep it up. Please there was, keep it up. In 2019, there was a, a David race. There was a Metallica and Lightning Pirate, all which went to six or went to nine. Uh, and then there was a show match against Paige. And then there was against you. It went all the way to nine. And then now against Knox. That's six. <laughs> Plus I had another five to four in the uh, group stage of 2019 as well. So that's, I've had seven tournament matches go all the way out of probably like 10 played or something. <laughs> Whatever you're doing to cause that, don't stop. <laughs> Being bad at other people's picks. <laughs> that. Keep doing that. <laughs> it's, it makes for great content to watch. This is exciting stuff. Every minute of that match was a nail biter. Wow. I'm glad. I'm glad it was entertaining. I was really hoping that it wouldn't be completely unwatchable because it felt like it in at the moment. <laughs> there were some parts where I was like, oh man, this is going to suck to watch. Oh no, trust me, that added context of Nox screen made it, made it not only <laughs> watchable, but enthralling. Wow, GG, thank you for the match. Yeah. GG's, congratulations. Good luck on your next one. It is oh, looking like it's about really. time to start wrapping this up. So congratulations to Ronnie and condolences to Nock. This has been one heck of a show. I don't know how I'm supposed to sleep after that one. <laughs> Ronnie, you will be moving on to uh, lower, uh, lower Losers quarterfinals, right? Yeah, Losers I will play the loser of, I think it's Nacho and Lightning. 
That will be an excellent match to watch as well. That one in particular, if you want to follow this storyline, is on Saturday, June 17th at 6.15 p.m. Eastern Daylight Time. Make sure you we'll tune in. Excellent. Thank you, Speed Gaming. We'll be seeing more from Ronnie in the future. And unfortunately, Knock, you're sent back. And we'll see y'all in the next exciting tournament match. I don't know if it'll be as good as this one. So keep your goggles on and your engines tuned. Good luck, everyone. May the force be with you. Bye-bye.